the universe! Ah, uh, one minute and 44 seconds of establishing shots from the little to the large just to show that we are in fact on the fucking planet Earth! The music is like that of a shitty high school documentary. Shiny happy people holding hands. How a tiny egg and a single irrepressibly plucky sperm. Another one of us. We know how that happens right down to the atoms. Is this really the best we can do? No, but I'm sure you've got a way to fix it and it has nothing to do with humanitarian aid. My name is Foster Gamble. Foster Gamble. I've created this navigator to take us through time and space. Movie tries really hard to be Cosmos. Has amazing technological and social ramifications. A shape. Movie has two opening sequences. Was the same in an atom as in our entire solar system. Nope. Electrons have orbitals that are wildly different from planetary orbitals. Zero point or radiant or free energy. Free energy scam. But how on earth did they know about it? Math. This isn't where I thought my research would lead me. Did everything but ask an astrophysicist and calls it research. And I could see no other rational way advanced math and physics concepts would have been recorded over 3,000 years ago. Why can't you people ever say anything nice about humanity? Here in the wild we find a group of crackpots willing to say stuff because no one talks to them while they're living in their mom's basement. Of so-called crop circles. People admitted that they made this shit up. Could hoaxers have created all 5,000 of these patterns? Yes! A former professor of physics at the University of Nebraska. Scientists can be crackpots too. James and Lane describe the same Taurus dynamic. Crazy people think alike sometimes. To some, the idea of UFOs may sound crazy. It's called unidentified for a reason. Does hold the key to a new form of clean, safe energy access. It doesn't. You leave Tesla alone! Leave him alone! All for trying to implement his vision of unlimited energy for everyone. He also wanted to invent a death ray. Scientists can be crackpots too. That accessed electrical power right out of the air. Movie takes a page right out of Anne Rand's Atlas Shrugged. And that's not just a theoretical statement, it's literally true. It isn't. They generate more energy than it takes to run them. They don't because of the laws of thermodynamics. For his own safety, he had to let go of marketing free energy. Pussy. Poor, and I'm not expecting this to convince you. It doesn't. He beaten to death in 2004. His death had nothing to do with his free energy scam. Being suppressed so consistently and so brutally. Persecution complex. More than anything since, well, in recorded human history. Bring it on then. Is that they mimic in one way or another the Taurus energy shape. So to my mouth an asshole while I'm sitting and looking up. Is my asshole a source of energy then? Would understanding these things really help alleviate human suffering in any way? It certainly would if it were true, but it's not, so let's scam people. Makes sense to me that evolution would be efficient in that way. Evolution doesn't work that way. The most important thing that's happened in the history of the world. They aren't. If a story doesn't make sense, follow the money. If a story doesn't make money, then embellish it. And to maintain high oil prices. Problem is that they're well aware that oil is a finite resource. What do you think they're gonna do, let infrastructure collapse? If everyone dies, there's no one to make money off of, stupid. How dare you make me defend an oil company! <laughs> Boy! They were primarily responsible for the global shift to large-scale petroleum-based agriculture. They had to in order to feed so many. You leave Lauren Burlag alone! He was brilliant! Brilliant! But never lived up to its promises of ending hunger and promoting health. People fuck up sometimes. In order to impose even more dependence of humanity on a handful of cooperation is the ultimate step in this. GMOs now, huh? We're going right on down the line. I will have a rat as fat for myself. He who controls the spice controls the universe. And I always found the same families in charge, either directly through their banks and corporations or indirectly through their major foundations. Correlation equals causation. What the captains of industry wanted from our schools was an obedient and docile workforce who would be manageable employees and eager consumers. Right. Fuck educating people. When anyone in a position of authority tells you what to do. You don't seem to be doing it. The average MD in four years of medical school takes one course in nutrition, two and a half hours in many cases. The materials used, the curriculum materials, are supplied by the National Dairy Council. People ostensibly educated in biochem or chem and anatomy aren't smart enough to disagree with portions of their own education. Oh wait, they fucking disagree all the time! Oh, look at that, an actual medical practitioner disagreeing with his own education, albeit he's a crackpot, and oh, by the way, Deepak Chopra. 
Would they actually suppress cures for diseases the way they've suppressed free energy technology? If you say boo about cancer, one well-documented example is the case of Dr. Royal Rife. That guy? He's a fucking scam artist. Rife's treatment was tested on 16 terminally ill cancer patients. With absolutely no effect. Soon after, a lab testing Rife's technology was burned down. Probably burned down by himself. And cancer has run through my family like a raging river. Appeal to emotion. Green Case had an old Indian Ojibwe formula that was effective. No, she didn't. Max Gerson had natural remedies that worked. No, they didn't. And, by the way, how about a coffee enema? Huh? Huh? To suppress cures that can't be patented. Evidence. It's given me something really satisfying to do with the pain. Come on, how about that coffee enema? I've heard everybody digs them. I believe that an elite group of people and the corporations they run More Illuminati. Yay. Not by creating more value, but by actually controlling the source of money. Oh, shit. You know what's funny about the pyramid? If we die, they die. And fuck you again for making me defend corporations. David Icke believes that the presidents are reptoids. Oh, and David Icke. I'm pretty sure that this is the worst approximation of economics ever. And confirmation bias. There is no evidence that Henry Ford said that. This woman was lied to about why she'd be in the film. Her just being here makes her look crazy when she's not. Rothschilds, Morgans, and other private bankers gathered secretly. Dining on aborted fetuses and drinking the blood of the poor, I'll bet. Catherine went on to compare a healthy economy to a vibrant Taurus. No, she didn't. You made her look crazy. But in fact, in close to a century of existence, the Federal Reserve has done just the opposite. Right, there are no other factors. Okay, so corporations do evil things. Therefore, trust my handy-dandy perpetual motion machine. It slices, it dices, it'll finger your wife. All for the low, low price of $19.99. <sighs> this shit is so long. I wonder when 9-11 will come up. I kept running across compelling evidence and credible experts. Like David Icke? One night I woke up at 3 a.m. Ooh, the witching hour. Governments, corporations, and the United Nations are all attempting to take control. It's been four years since this movie was made and I can still look at fisting porn. They wrongly call this a Jewish agenda and continue the ongoing racism that undermines and destroys so many lives. Well, thanks for saying something nice. Take one off. But that's your only one. I don't believe wealth is their end goal. <laughs> I really can't wait to hear this. We are smarter than they are, and for their own good, we should rule them. Wow, what an eye-opener. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. Everybody was reptoid biting. Do, 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 do. The whole notion of conspiracy has been so ridiculed that it's socially challenging just to consider it. Good thing. They must just be taking advantage of the situation, but not actually causing it. That's a reasonable explanation. Now that we understand what's really going on. If that's true, you still can't do anything about it with a fucking perpetual motion machine. And a lot more from this asshole. And you build what I call a hassle-free zone. And if you live your life within that zone of perception, belief, and what you say and think, then people will leave you alone because you're normal. Ah, the inverse ad populum argument. The less people that believe me, the more I'm right. And you start to express your uniqueness. What the Illuminati, the Illuminati, the Illuminati. Ah, that's the stuff. Agent Smith. <laughs> They're everywhere, like spiders. Get them off of me! Get them off! Still, I wondered how could something that is so big and corrupt be kept secret? It's only there if you look for it. They're the only ones that know what the real agenda of the bank is and what the direction um, is that they're going and why. Isn't it just as possible that the guy at the top is equally as oblivious as everybody else? Just soon. Was kept secret despite having 130,000 people working on it. There were many, many leaks on the Manhattan Project. People have come up with innovative, ingenious solutions to a huge number of the problems that we face. You haven't shown one yet. Where the mission of the military is to protect the haves from the have-nots. This is a museum donated by the Vanderbilts to make money for the state of Rhode Island. And what David Icke calls the totalitarian tiptoe. David Icke. While distracting us from the fact that this unprecedented carbon tax would be paid to the World Bank and enforced by global police. Thinks that climate change is being used as an excuse to make money for oligarchical regime. I was just waiting. I was just waiting. And I knew that if I waited long enough. Fucking 9-11 conspiracy theorists. God damn it. 
Turns out President George W. Bush was right about Saddam Hussein. Thinks we need a movie to tell us not to watch Fox News. Euphemistically called free speech zones. Zones for free speech. Argues that his free speech is being violated, yet he's speaking freely. Has admitted it's an entry point to getting all of us chipped for better tracking and control. RFID chips don't have GPS and are limited to 100 feet. They can be easily destroyed, too. FEMA containment camps. Bring on the FEMA death camps! <laughs> As sick as it sounds, it makes sense that they would be better positioned to succeed in their quest for absolute control if there are fewer of us to manage. The exact opposite is true. Sterilization is one of the many insidious ways this covert plan is being implemented. Yet the world population is 7 billion. Racial supremacy agenda later adopted by Hitler. They were really fucked up. Spray over 7 million people in urban areas of Northern California. Chemtrails, chemtrails spinning around. The spray included multiple toxins. Toxins by definition are made by pathogens. Have field tested a spermicidal strain of GMO corn that would render male consumers infertile. GMOs have never been known to do that. I'm convinced that this is no accident. Correlation equals causation. You would say impossible. No one would do such a thing. Appeal to emotion. Could I be wrong? Perhaps. You are. But what if I'm not? Fucking spit it out then. An hour and goddamn 38 minutes and you haven't shown me how this fucking device works or that it works or any other solution. It begins with a shift in worldview. If by worldview you mean turning crazy, that won't help. This woman sounds reasonable because she was not told about why she was being in the film. Could become a network of networks that will be the most powerful activist force for change ever. But aren't you the one who just said they can shut down the network and watch everything you're doing? And following the models of Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. How fucking dare you! Wait, does this mean you're against vaccination? Five fucking minutes of preaching. You never did this, by the way. I had always gone along with the view that more people will thrive if we consider the group's needs above the individual's. But when I took a closer look, I found it doesn't really work that way. More John Galt crap. I believe that you and I, as well as every other being, are Taurus energy fields. Well, that's just not true. And even this guy was lied to about why he was going to be in the film. Put the pick in there, Pete. And turn it round real neat. Your skin love to me.